from the Instagram account of NBC Nightly News, NBC has learned more than 50 migrants with potential ties to an ISIS-affiliated smuggling network are at large. Their whereabouts unknown as immigration agents look to arrest them. This lady investigates new concerns about the vetting process at the border. So more than 50, like 51, 60, 5,100, 10,000. How many more than 50 are we talking about? And as terrible as this story is, they still will not refer to these people as criminal illegals, but just migrants and the vetting process at the border, there's concerns about that, which apparently are new, as in three years old. What's even going on here? But my name's Eric. This channel is called Report and Opine. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'm absolutely begging you. I'm begging you, please, come on, please. It would help me a lot and it would cost you nothing. But if you wanted to help me even more and spend some money, you will buy my book, New York City 2020, Gotham Unglued on Amazon.com. That link will be in the description. Tonight, NBC News has learned more than 50 migrants with potential ties to an ISIS-affiliated smuggling network are at large. So you obviously have no idea. More than 50, I guess that's probably them being nice because as we know, they're completely lying scumbags. So saying more than 50 probably means you're looking at at least a couple hundred. In America, many... And for the record, this is the the worst case, right? This is the worst thing that the news, I guess, is now being forced to report on. But all the other stuff, the little crimes, right? The the stealing, the elimination of Americans, that's not really a big deal. We can actually laugh about that. If you look at some of these exit polls, I mean, I live in Virginia. Immigration was the number one issue. <laughs> yeah. I mean, again, these could change in, in Virginia. Well, Virginia does have a border with West Virginia. <laughs> very, very contested area. Build the wall. Like, what? But this we have to talk about. Illegally crossed the border and were released into the U.S. by Border Patrol because there was no information suggesting terror ties at the time. Now their whereabouts are unknown as immigration agents look to arrest them, U.S. officials tell us, saying they're among a group of over 400 migrants DHS identified in the U.S. Bro, this is absolutely crazy. You're talking about a, an awful situation with a, or more than 50 but they're still just migrants? How could this be happening? U.S. from Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, Moldova, Kyrgyzstan, Georgia, and Russia as subjects of concern because they were brought to the U.S. by an ISIS-affiliated smuggling network, something the FBI director warned about earlier this year. Some of the overseas facilitators of the smuggling network have ISIS ties uh, that were very concerned. Yeah, and how did, how did it get this far, right? All of the other things that you let go, you let slide, and you call them undocumented, and you call them migrants, that leads up to this, quite clearly. About. ICE has located and arrested over 150 of the 400 migrants so far, with some already deported from the U.S., officials say, adding authorities are not panicking because their ties to ISIS are not certain, but they're prioritizing their arrest out of an abundance of caution. The pro so even as they are reporting this terrible story, they, they are still trying to pretend. I mean, of course, you don't want to, you know, whip people into a frenzy, into an absolute panic, but they're still trying to pretend that this just it isn't really that bad, right? We're, we're still doing good work. We deported 40 people or was it 400, whatever it was, right? They're, they're still, we're, we're still looking out for you. The problem is the volume of people coming across the southern border, individuals from ISIS and other affiliated groups have recognized it as a weak point in our defense, and they're using this opportunity to try to sneak in. Oh my word, that's absolutely groundbreaking. Who could have seen this coming? NBC News was first to report on a similar arrest of an Uzbek man in Baltimore, whose country alerted the U.S. he was affiliated with ISIS. That man, like the others apprehended so far, was arrested on immigration charges, not terrorism-related charges. ISIS-K has claimed responsibility for deadly terror attacks in Russia and Iran in the past year. And recently, the DHS Inspector General sharply criticizing vetting at the U.S. southern border, saying DHS is at risk of admitting dangerous persons into the country or enabling asylum seekers who may pose significant threats to public safety and national security. Well, oh, my. Th th this is shocking. I mean, how? Th no way. I'm actually quite literally shocked that NBC is even 
daring to report on this. To continue to reside in the United States. Two senior law enforcement officials told NBC News they are not tracking a terror plot from this group of migrants, but their arrest on M <laughs> that probably means that something bad is bound to happen, right? Oh no, no, we're we, you know we're tracking them for other reasons, right? Because oh, you know their their country told us they were from ISIS, but don't worry, there's there's no there's no indication of a terror plot, and are we to believe for one split second that any of these people working this corrupt regime are are going to you know be first of all be tracking that sort of terrible thing, but are going to be competent enough to be up on those rotten plots. Immigration charges come out of an abundance of caution. Lester. All right, Julia, thank you. Yeah, now you want to be cautious. You didn't want to be cautious when you were when you opened the gate up, even though we were told that we were still supposed to be incredibly scared of Rona when they, you know, opened the floodgates wide. That wasn't, you weren't cautious then. You weren't cautious when, you know, people were getting dropped in the lake. You weren't cautious when Venezuelans were shooting at cops in New York. You weren't cautious during any of that. But now you're pretending you want to be cautious, but don't worry, it's, it's, not, it's not a terror plight. This plot, this is absolutely despicable. And just when you think it can't get any worse, like maybe, maybe we reached rock bottom, obviously we haven't.